once again from Malaysian Squash Stars, Ong Beng Hee and La Wee Word. Fantastic. Come, 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 come. We love the color. Come and take a seat. Oh, very gentlemanlike. Ladies always first. Fantastic. Now you specifically flew in all the way from Pulau Pinang. Penang. Pearl of the Orient. <laughs> yes, yeah. we all know that's Penang. And you flew in all the way from Leeds. So you get a kind extra of. 10 points <laughs> for that. <laughs> Thank you very much. But actually, this morning I came from Subang. So. <laughs> that's even worse with the traffic. <laughs> yeah. So 30 yeah. points there. Yeah. <laughs> so, did you all come planned as in colour coordinated, or is there something else going on right now? <laughs> actually, just that, that is a problem. Uh, I think we didn't coordinate the colour. <laughs> so. Yeah, I ended up in the same colours, yes. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, let's talk a little bit about football first off. Yeah, I know we were. I heard that we support the same team. Because you're from Penang, and you told me off yeah. camera that everyone in Penang supports one team. Who is that? Liverpool. No. Oh. Actually, I have a friend from Penang who supports Arsenal. That's why he's no longer there, right? <laughs> yeah, that's why he was kicked out. And yourself, bro? Hi, well, Andrew. I'm, I'm going to go with my Malaysian national team. National team. Brilliant. Okay. Yes. But there must be a local team here to support. Actually, uh, originally, where are you from? Malaysia? Well, I was born in Penang, uh, born in Penang. Uh, but I've lived in Subang for many, many years. So I'm actually half and half. Yeah, mm. local team will be obviously Penang, Penang. and Selangor. Is, is there something in the water that makes yeah. everyone from Penang good at rackets? Because yeah. there's two other big stars from Penang, yeah. Nicole yeah. David and uh, Dato Lee Chongwe, mm. right? Chong yeah, yeah, probably yeah. maybe because we didn't have anything to do when we were young. So. <laughs> <laughs> play some racket sports. Yeah, play some racket sports, you know, a bit of badminton, a bit of All squash. Right. Yeah. Well, you're still so young. Did you like look up someone like him? Well, oh my see. god, do you just call him old? <laughs> older? Older! Older! On national TV. Older. Yeah. Older. <laughs> um, well, yeah, obviously when I was young, and the people that I look up to that were actually doing really well in squash was Nicole and Bing Hee, and mm -hmm. both of them have been my seniors for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And it's always a privilege to actually now be with them and travel with them on the same team. Is it mm -hmm. one of the reasons why you started was because of him? <laughs> Possibly. Ah! Of course. <laughs> Possibly. Well, I Ooh. think I do actually have a photo of me when I was like, Seven years old or something with Bing Hee and Nicole and two of them were the World Junior Champions. Then. Oh really? Wow. Yeah, I think I still have one of those so photos. And, and so you were and he used to make fun of me when, when, when I was young. So. Okay, <laughs> who's your hero, bro? Who did you look up to? Um, at the, at the time, obviously, because I was the first professional, so... So it's basically himself. Yeah, I, <laughs> so you look I, in I the look, mirror. I look at myself, yeah. But, <laughs> no, uh, I think uh, because I was so obsessed with squash and mm -hmm. I've, you know, I've always loved squash. Um, so for me, Obviously, my ambition at the time was to be as good as, as I could be. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I, I didn't really have many guys to look up to, uh, in Malaysia especially. Mm. So obviously, the international So you're a trendsetter, yeah. basically. Uh, That's true. Uh, I hope so. If I can get uh, additional funding from National Sports Council for saying that, oh, great. Yes, 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 why not? Well, you <laughs> were pro really, really, really young. How old were you? Uh, I was 16 when uh, I became a professional. Mm -hmm. I, I quit uh, school to, to play wow. squash. Uh, okay. So that was kind of... Kind of uh, it's quite scary at the time, you know, because if you give, uh, give up your education to play squash... But your parents always supported you. Um, my dad was a big fan. My mom wasn't as sure, but uh, she went along with it um, mm -hmm. due to peer pressure from myself in that so <laughs> fortune <laughs> favors the brave right S sorry say fortune again. favors the brave yes yes uh, I was very lucky to to be able to win the world junior at the time and then we had the uh, 1998 Commonwealth program uh, so it was a big project at the time and squash was included in the Commonwealth Games for the first time now you're what based in Leeds right yes mm. where are you based apart from Penang I mean Penang when I'm not traveling but the rest of the year I'll be in and out of the country anyway <coughs> playing tournaments and I do visit um, Harrogate Leeds once in a while when I'm either in the London or something and I do visit Nicole sometimes as well in Harrogate Amsterdam. Ladies College I've got my <laughs> uh, yeah, you know right yeah. and and that's that's squash yeah, yeah. 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 nothing to do with squash <laughs> <laughs> okay just checking but uh, just want to follow up I know you were injured in December are you okay now? yeah I'm fine now. I've recovered fully from my injury in December so it's all back into training now Okay, fantastic. Well, I actually met Binky uh, a couple of months back when it was during episode 5 actually and he appeared on the show and uh, when Roshan and I were there <laughs> doing, what are you doing? <laughs> Do, during the Squash 2020, it was back to bit uh, the flash mob, right? So yeah. you remember doing a dance? Yes. Actually, let's watch it, let's okay. watch it. Yeah. Great, yeah, why not? <laughs> What you're gonna do right. is that it's kind of like riding a horse, okay? It's this way, right? Yeah, it's this way, and yeah. you have to keep doing that. Okay. And you have to lift out your legs. Please don't put me on TV. <laughs> you're doing this on TV. <laughs> no, I'm not. I told you he's a good 
dancer. He's a good dancer. <laughs> Michelle, you look like an uncoordinated Mary Poppins, love. <laughs> and Ben here, you're never going to compete in Korea, South Korea, that is, ever again after that. I'm kidding. <laughs> Prove it and then do the Gangnam Style by winning a tournament there. That'd be awesome. Yeah. But speaking of traveling, right, like where do you guys, what's your favorite place to um, play Kajang. at? <laughs> well, for me, I think one of my favorite places I've been to was the Cayman Islands. I was wow. actually there wow. in December, Cayman. playing the World Open. Mm -hmm. I was unfortunately still injured when I went there, but I think... Free holiday! <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just couldn't... Yeah, it was a great tournament, like a whole setup, and we played Facing the Bay and the whole Caribbean wow. city and stuff. So what about, what about yeah, you, Vinny? I actually hate traveling, uh, but <laughs> I actually like to make um, Malaysia my favorite place to play. Um, Obviously, because less traveling is home ground, you have the home crowd supporting yeah. me. Shark with you. Exactly, <laughs> and a great food. Whereas if you go to other countries, yeah, they're all great tournaments. Um, but it's not home, right? So no, you travel a lot. <laughs> have you by chance visited any football stadium or anything to do with football? Yeah. Or seen a player uh, going like, hey, Beckham? Have you been to Anfield? I've, no, I've actually been to Old Trafford once, but this was like... No. And you're no. a little... That's no. a cardinal sin, you know. I was yeah. Yeah. You're an enemy. You want to see your enemies. Yeah, so and you then, know. like, the team manager that was travelling with us, he was an mm. MU fan, obviously, okay. and I was 12, so I didn't have a choice. Uh, fair enough, lah. So, uh, thank you. <laughs>